If you are a business owner or a service-based provider right now, I know it can feel difficult to be selling anything in the reality of the world at the moment. I know uh, weeks ago, as this pandemic hit our realities globally, uh, it was something that I struggled with, you know, to continue to do business, to continue to offer my services. Uh, and in a lot of ways, um, it is okay to take a little pause to um, navigate this change, right, in our lives and in our work at the moment, uh, but also not to disregard that our services and our um, offers of help uh, can still be very necessary, uh, even in the climate of where things are at the moment. Uh, people still need support, people still need guidance, uh, and there may be a, a very different way that you could be recalibrating and re reinventing the way that you communicate and market at the moment for your businesses. And I wanted to share a little bit about what uh, I'm doing to um, connect more genuinely and create a much more human first approach in how I market, which I've been doing for very long, but uh, have been feeling the necessity of this uh, more than ever uh, during the time that we're living in at the moment. Uh, now, I wanna give a little shout out to Pamela Slim because Pamela Slim is the uh, the OG, the original creator of uh, the concept of TMAs, also called Tiny Marketing Actions. Uh, Pam is a friend of mine. She's also a coach for, for myself as well for many years. Uh, she's a deep collaborator with me uh, and uh, her work with TMAs and really helping uh, business owners to create uh, small momentum, you know, tiny marketing actions uh, that she says, you know, could even feel like sort of like, whoa, they're so small that I can't believe I'm doing that. Uh, this concept is so refreshing to hear and to uh, be doing as a business owner uh, because perhaps a lot of ways that you're selling and marketing right now doesn't have to be these complicated things to do. And instead, we want to kind of focus on tiny, uh, really great actions that can actually make the difference for your business. Now, I've just recently started being in Pam's TMA group. Uh, she's doing a tiny marketing action eight week experience. I've recently joined today with our first session. Uh, and part of the homework <laughs> that we wanted to do is actually come think about how we can really do small things to be able to market and create movement uh, for some of the marketing goals that we have. And I wanted to share a couple of my own today uh, because that, you know, what Pam is doing with business owners as well is something that I really resonate with and something that I really support my clients to do as well. And I thought, what a better way to talk about this concept than to actually show you what TMAs or tiny marketing actions could look like in your business, whether you are a coach, whether you are um, a designer, you know, a consultant, a freelancer, whoever you are that's offering services for people. These are uh, really simple, but could be very effective um, actions to take right now. So one of the things that I've been using a lot lately uh, to be able to connect with people is less about the automated emails uh, and sort of these sort of you know, automated ways to bring people into my community, right? We talk about newsletter signups, right? Opt-ins, right? Whatever it is that you offer out there that uh, originally was with the um, effort of trying to get more people to, right? Share, like experience your work, right? And be able to be a part of your community or your newsletter. Um, what I've been doing a lot when I get questions from people on my social channel or just email me to reply to a newsletter I wrote or whatever it is of inquiry, I've been making uh, a, a, an initiative to film them a quick 60 second video to welcome them to the community and start to ask them questions about themselves. So if you have a social channel or a website and you have people kind of, you know, passively responding to things or, you know, making a comment on a post or emailing you, uh, what a great opportunity to take to get to know your clients better uh, instead of actually just shoving them into some automated funnel where you can never get a hold of them again, <laughs> right? Uh, and so I found these to be really effective because people actually really enjoy Enjoy personal messages so you can write an email to them or for me in particular I use an app called loom 
and I film a quick 60 second video thanking them for their question and asking them about what their goals are and what they are excited to learn from me. And part of that is also helping me get to know their problems and allows me to think up of new content for them because they've suggested it and it's something that bothers them and is something that keeps them up at night. So it's kind of a great re market research tool as well to use to give these personal messages to your client. Uh, and the great thing with Loom, it kind of shows up like a embedded GIF on their email and so they're more willing to click on it when it's something so personalized for them and people love hearing you say their name people love hearing that this video wasn't uh, pre-recorded and sent to hundreds of other people um, i think right now it's so important for us to remain human during this time and continue to be human during this time and beyond um, and use some of these sorts of um, personalized one-to-one -one sort of strategies to actually connect with people, right? Rather than just creating blogs and social posts and hoping that people are listening to us. Why don't we actually ask them how things are going? Um, another way that I've been using tiny marketing actions is to think about um, collaborators, past clients, um, people I admire uh, in the online world, right, that I've been following for a while, and actually start to um, message them and tell them how much I've been enjoying their work. So for influencers that I want to connect with and potentially we would share some common values and vision, um, I have been sending them, you know, for example, on Instagram, a direct message, um, giving them kudos about the work that I enjoy that they produce uh, and really do my uh, legwork of promoting some of the posts and um, sharing some of the things that they um, share on their social channels that are really helpful to my audience as well. And I think that sense of helping other business owners, helping the influencers you admire and doing something for them, uh, it's really gonna open up the channel of communication, but also just doing something good, right? Like these business owners spent oodles of hours producing great material. And if you loved it and you admired them, what a great way to show your support, right? By sharing it too on your platform and sending them a private message, telling them how much you appreciate their work. Now there's no pitching, there's no need to say, hey, would you like to work together? Because hey, relationships aren't built overnight, but that could be a first inaugural way to just touch base and connect with influencers and businesses that you love. I've also been touching base with clients. Now, uh, as if you are a, a, a business owner that has been looking for more business right now, uh, a great way to start is go with, with your low hanging fruit, right? Go with the people who have enjoyed your work, who have vouched for your work, right? Who have had uh, tremendous results from working with you. Uh, and very likely you may not have touched base with them for a couple of years, right? Uh, instead of trying to find cold leads or people from the internet that may not know who you are and what you do just yet, really start tapping into, again, what Pam Slim calls your watering holes, right? These people that already belong to your network, that you don't have to prove yourself and your credibility, you've already have experience with them. Now, they may not only be clients, these might be old colleagues that you've worked with. These could be companies that you've worked with. Uh, these could be uh, somebody at an event that you, um, you know, had a great rapport with that you want to reconnect with and just start to actually um, offer them a, a personal message, checking in on them genuinely, asking how they're doing right now in the time of COVID-19, right? Uh, share some of your own experiences and offer to help them if there's something that you can help with, uh, but also um, update them on what your initiatives are in your business, what sort of clients you're currently looking for, where's your work best served right now, right? In the marketplace with what's going on. And that can help uh, your past collaborators, network and clients remember what you do, right? Maybe even be able to think about someone in their communities or their network to connect you with, or simply just to even maybe share a post that you've done, right? Asking for new clients or looking for particular clients that they can show on their platform. Um, past clients and referrals are some of your most powerful ways to spread the word. Okay, whether it's during this time or beyond, right? Those are your best word of mouth, the strongest referrals and reputation builders for your business. And don't forget to just touch base with people during that time. All right, so this, these two are the sort of major things that I've been uh, spending a few minutes a day 
right? I have a little alarm bell that goes off every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'll come off from, uh, the alarm goes from 9 a.m. to 9.30 and have a 30 minute sprint of thinking what I call uh, Loom love notes, right? I use Loom, I use video and you don't need to do video, but I call them Loom love, love notes because these are my authentic ways to connect with people genuinely, human first, right? That is less about trying to get on social media and do a hundred different posts that are going to, you know, take up so much of my headspace and my time, but actually really reaching out to the right people right now uh, and offering that genuine support, checking in on people and, and keeping on top of mind for these people uh, so that down the road, if they need my help or they can refer someone to me, uh, this can be an excellent way uh, to keep spreading the word about your services and your business. Now, I would love to hear from you. Um, what sorts of ways have you been potentially thinking about or have been creating action around um, much more human-based marketing efforts, right? Maybe you are also a DMer, maybe you also email, maybe you get on phone calls. How can you do that a lot more? And what sorts of people are you looking for in order to spread your work far and wide during this time? I would love for you to share uh, your comments or even questions about any tiny marketing action ideas that I shared today. And I would love to support you in getting this done as well in your business so that you feel that there is momentum generated, that you don't have to do huge, complicated things to market your business right now, but really just simplifying that effort, making these actions so tiny that it doesn't take a lot of time, right? For me, it's about uh, 30 minutes every other day. And that's really allowed me to reconnect and also connect with new customers, um, you know, going forward with my business. So love to hear from you. And hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you so very much for joining me and hope you're having a great day.